Whoa, more Switch Pro information and a couple of other adult Nintendo news items all in one epic video. Let's go. Oh, we have our terrible Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, all right. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get into this juicy news give the video a thumbs up let's crush 300 likes let's get right to it more information is coming out about the switch pro i recently uh, talked about the 4k capabilities the dlss all that information in my last video but even more information is spilling check this out coming from the same um source reset era take it with a grain of salt but some pretty eyebrow raising information check this out so and the, this is what they the article says so just to sort of update people reading the new model is still very much tied to Breath of the Wild sequel, still possible for this year, but is internally moved to fiscal year 2022. So, meaning the new model might slide into early next year. I think that is a mistake because the hardware would sell less regardless. But here's the thing, like I said in uh, my last video, the Switch, the original Switch, didn't launch in the holiday season. It launched in the spring. So, this Switch could do the same thing. Splatoon 3 was delayed into next year, and Mario Kart 9 was leaked by 10K. I've heard that name 10K before. Which was the game I heard was coming this holiday, but I've mentioned a few times. And so, again, Mario Kart 9 this holiday with a Switch Pro it would be GG Nori. All right, but here's the new information. Dev kits <laughs> have only recently gone out to third parties is my understanding. And so third party developers have recently just got the dev kits. And I've actually just seen something that is supposedly from one of those dev kits that has a Switch game running at 1440p, which 1440p would be awesome. Uh, I think it's Demon Souls on my PS5. I beat that game. I think that game runs at 1440p. I could be mistaken. It runs at 4K, but 1440p looks crisp, which is higher than the Switch outputs. It isn't a screenshot of the game, but a setting profile that shows the Switch platform and 1440p as the resolution. It is a third profile outside of portable, portable and docked. So think of it as docked pro. It is a third profile outside of portable and docked. So think of it as docked pro. Interesting. It doesn't detail other profiles, but likely a portable pro profile exists as well. They're almost saying that it's going to be two separate systems, a dock system and a portable system. Interesting. That would get rid of the whole Switch. I don't think Nintendo's going to drop that Switch. It's working for them, the hybrid model. Check this out. A78 and Ampere are both being shared, and Samsung is an open secret for the fab production from at least sources I'm talking to. Well, that's what I've heard anyways. There's a lot of interesting stuff that will start leaking over the next couple months. I just hope the model comes this fall and they don't wait until next year to get a perfect lineup together. Switch needs the boost of new hardware to maintain momentum for the new year. And I agree with this last statement. I think the Switch does need a hardware boost so that they could keep the momentum going. But interesting, interesting stuff. Dev kits have gone out, 1440p resolution. 
um crazy 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 stuff i'm still hoping for a mario kart 9 holiday 2021 release you talking about ps5 selling out last year it's going to be crazy for the switch uh, if it launches with mario kart 9 so what do you guys think about it i thought that was crazy next news item well 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 it looks like pokemon diamond pearl news is right around the corner according to this article Dex dexerto.com we should be getting big news soon on this remake coming to the switch and this is what the article says according to insider central i've heard that name before reliable pokemon leaker who has a solid history with leaks eager trainers and i quote won't have to wait until pokemon day on the 27th for the big news so according to this article we're gonna be getting pokemon new pokemon information within the next coming days I'm not a huge pokemon fan but the pokemon series a dope 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 rpg series i actually like pokemon sword and shield it was a dope game and so it seems like nintendo's going the route of new pokemon game and then they're gonna do a, a old remake a new game old remake that's the pattern they've had so far on the switch it's been working for them can't wait so keep your eyes and ears peeled it could be today they announce we're gonna have a pokemon center direct on the 27th or whatnot so pokemon days on the 27th and according to this reliable this is a reliable leaker saying we won't have to wait until the 27th for big pokemon news what do you guys think of that next news item i thought this was pretty interesting the global president of Nintendo, Shinturo Furukawa, uh, in that interview from Nikkei, he goes into more information about their acquisition of Next Level uh, Studios. And this is what he says. And it goes, it's interesting their mindset of acquiring new studios. And watch how this sort of um, is um, uh, contrary to what Xbox is doing. Check out what the president says. They were, he's talking about next level games. They were a long time development part of ours. And to increase the overall quality and speed of development, we decided it would be better for them to operate as a subsidiary studio. It's not a case of us simply wanting more development resources. I don't think simply scaling up production like that actually adds value to Nintendo products. So they were saying, they are not purchasing them just to say hey we have a larger development team we have more studios according to him he's saying that does not add value to nintendo products different from what we see xbox has been doing on a studio shopping spree nintendo said that they acquire them simply to uh, increase overall quality and speed of development and so the the development process can run smoother and that's one of the reasons why they acquired next level games dope studio their latest project luigi's mansion 3 on the switch highly recommend it to anyone um who's on the fence of getting this game those are all the news items for today sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy Be
become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.